welcome back to the channel. Super excited you come back. Um, or if you're new here, super excited to see you here. I hope you like this video so much. By the end, you're gonna hit that little subscribe button. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a Thunder Laser Nova 24 to make a cute little gift tag for your next um, gift or party or celebration that you have coming up. This is just the beginning shape of this idea, but you can feel free to get creative with this as much as you want, put your own spin on it. But I wanted to show you how to do this. We're gonna be using two mediums for this video. We're gonna be using wood and then acrylic as well. So if you've been afraid to test out cutting acrylic in your laser, hopefully this video will give you the courage to give it a try. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how I did it. So we're gonna jump right into the video. But again, if you love the content you see here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you'll be notified of any future videos. But uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm just starting off here on Google and I'm gonna Google gift tag outline. And then that's gonna just take us to the image search results here. And then I'm just gonna find a gift tag shape that I like. Now this is where you can feel free to get creative and you can use any shape you like. Um, I'm just gonna go with the standard um, gift tag here. So I'm gonna copy the image and then we're gonna go over to Lightburn and we're gonna just paste this into Lightburn. And then we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go down to trace image. Now it traces the outline for us and you can see by the purple lines there, we just hit okay. We move that off of the gift tag and then we delete the original image. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna size the gift tag to our specifications. So for my tag, I want it to be a decent size. Um, I think about five, five inches is good, somewhere around there. So I'm just gonna size it down just a bit here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to, I like to do my projects in bulk. So I'm gonna ma be making eight of these, but if you're not, if you're just making one, you can go ahead and skip this step, but I'm gonna just copy the tag and I'm just going to do um, eight. So I'm gonna line them all up here. Now I wanna get them as close as together as I can. I don't like to waste a lot of wood. So I'm just gonna move them all into position here um, until I have eight on my screen. So I'm gonna do four up top and then we'll do four down here. Now an easier way to do this since I've put my um, my eight, or sorry, my four here, I'm gonna select them all. And what I wanna do is, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I want to align them to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go up here to this little toggle here and I'm gonna click align to bottom just so they're straight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all of them again, and I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna line these up here underneath. So there we go, we have our eight tags. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut these. So I have my speed power at five. This was for when I was cutting acrylic. I'm gonna change that up to 10. So speed 10, max power 90, min power 10. And we're gonna go ahead and cut these out first. Just before we cut, I do want to show you a painting technique that I did. So I placed my piece of wood into the laser and then I set the origin and I pushed the frame button just to see where exactly the laser was going to cut. Then I came in with a pencil and just made a marking. So I pushed the frame again and then I followed the laser along as it was um, going around just to make a little mark to see how far down the laser would actually cut. I don't wanna paint the whole wood, I just wanna paint where I'm going to be cutting out from so then I can save the rest of this wood for a different project. So once I had made that marking and double checked it, I'm one of these check twice, cut once people, um, then I knew exactly where I could paint on my wood. So I came in with this deco art metallic paint just as a base layer. I don't wanna paint the wood, I still wanna see the grain underneath. I just wanna give it a nice shimmery effect. So I, I came in first with this pearl white metallic and then once that was dry, I came in with this um, deco art shimmer paint it's called and this'll just give it a nice kind of uh, light shimmer without it being too glittery. So I went over that as well. And then I went ahead and let this fully, fully dry. So this is really important that you let the wood fully dry because we are going to have to mask it before we cut. And we wanna make sure that the paint is nice and dry and we don't peel off the paint. 
So once my paint has fully dried, I came in with some painter's tape and I just ripped off pieces that were roughly the same size to cover all the paint. Now you do want to overlap the painter's tape about an eighth of an inch with each piece. So make sure you do that overlapping. Now the point of the masking tape is to protect the paint when the laser's cutting through and to um, not end up with those laser burn marks in your paint. So the paint is actually absorbing the burn marks. So, or sorry, not the paint. The tape is absorbing the burn marks so that you don't get it in your paint. Now I know that there are better products out here to do masking with. Like there's actual masking tape that you can buy that is meant for lasers. It's a lot thicker than this. Or not thicker, wider. So it covers a, a better product piece of your product. I just don't have any of that tape on me. I'm going to be getting it. But in the meantime, painter's tape will work. I have used it and it does work. So you want to go ahead and you want to cover all the paint. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and put it into the laser. And also make sure that you just smooth out the tape really well so there's no crinkles or bubbles in it. So next you're going to lay your piece of wood inside your laser. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to frame it out one more time. I always check just in case to make sure it's in the exact right spot. You will notice these little pieces of wood here. These are just off cuts from another project that I just used to kind of anchor the wood down. I just slide them in between the honeycomb and then they just hold the wood in place. And then you're going to hit start and the laser is going to go ahead and cut everything out for you. <laughs> Once you have your tags out of the laser, you can just peel off the painter's tape and you will see we have no laser burn on these at all. And as well, you can see the nice shimmer and shine on the tags. All right, so now that we have the gift tags all cut out, we've headed back to Lightburn here, and now we're gonna do the names. So I'm going to leave the gift tags here just as a, um, a template so that I know how big to make the names. And that's why I do the gift tags first versus the other way around. Just find it easier this way. So we're gonna go ahead here, and we're gonna click this little A, this is our text um, button. And when you click onto the canvas, then you get the little text line, and you can start typing your name. Now I'm going to start with, I'm doing two different fonts. I'm doing um, tags for girls and tags for boys. So the fonts are going to be a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to start with the boys first. And the font that I've chosen for these ones, it's called Rugant. So I'm just going to find that um, in my text here and click on that. Now your text um, button here, or text, all your texts, sorry, that's a weird word to say, is going to look a little different than mine because um, this is based off of your system fonts. So whatever fonts you have in your system um, will be different than mine. Um, just a little tip, I get a lot of my fonts at defont.com. I find they have a great selection and they're all free um, for personal use. So um, I like this Rugant font here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just make it bigger just so I can see here just for the time being. Um, for these um, block fonts, if I cut it out like this, it's all going to be separate letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the horizontal space just a bit. I'm going to pull it down here just so they kind of attach. Not that far. I don't. I need the I and the L to be separate just so they can come really close together here um, and I can it will kind of cut out all at one, like this W and I will be attached, the two L's will be attached. They all may not be attached, they may come apart, but it'll just be a little bit easier for me to line them up on the tag. So I'm going to um, size it down now and I'm going to put it on the tag so that it fits. This is again why I leave the tags here. And then I can put it there and now I know how big to make it. Now I have three other names that I'm just going to type out here that we're going to cut out um, with this particular color of acrylic. So I'm going to line this one up here. And then I'm going to do one more name here, sorry. Uh, if I can 
can remember the spelling. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to put this one in place as well here. This one I can make a little bit bigger. His name is a little bit shorter. Okay, now what we're gonna do, since we've already cut these tags, we don't need them, so I'm just gonna delete those and delete this one. And then also not to forget to delete the ones around. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna repeat this process um, for any other names. The girls' names I'm gonna do in a scriptier font, but I'm gonna cut that one out after in a different type of acrylic. I'm gonna move these closer together here. I don't wanna waste material. And then I'm going to go ahead up here and we're going to switch the speed and the power to five. I just found the acrylic cuts a lot nicer with five, speed five, max power 90. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to send that to our laser. So I've gone ahead and placed my piece of acrylic in here. I'm using the blue mirrored acrylic. This is just a scrap piece that I got here and it's perfect for this project to use it up. Now you do wanna make sure that you use the masking tape with the acrylic because you definitely do not want those laser burn marks in your acrylic and it just protects it while it's cutting. So same way you did it with the wood, just make sure you overlap it an eighth of an inch press start and then it's going to go ahead and it's going to cut out the acrylic for us. Now you'll notice here um, when I go to take this out, the letters didn't all stay attached. So some of them are separate, some of them are all attached. That's okay, um, it's not a big deal. And then all you have to do once you got it out of the laser is just peel off the masking tape just like you did with the wood pieces. And then you're gonna go ahead and use a strong glue. I used a Gorilla Glue and unfortunately I thought I was recording but I don't have that footage. And, but basically you just glue it on the wooden tags and then here are the finished tags all ready to go. And um, this is our finished project. So again, this is just a really super easy beginner project that you can do with your laser. And these people love these gift tags. They make great little present toppers um, for all kinds of events. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And please leave any comments you have for me below with any questions or feedback. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and we'll see you on another one.